This is Connie back with another edition of my obsession with adult coloring books. I've, I'm have i going to do three more again today, and I haven't done much. Um, it was only a few days ago that I filmed my other one. I just um, run out of stuff to film, and I just felt like filming today. So since I had a face of makeup on today. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to show you what I've been doing. This here I showed you in my last edition, so I don't have much done. But I did get started. I got this one completely done. Um, and then I've started on this other one. You know, it's just... What it is, is, you know, it's not beautiful. It's not creative. Um, I didn't get into this for the creative, the artistic side of things. Like other people um, do all this shading and, and, you know, it comes out absolutely beautiful. But I didn't get into this for that. I got into this to focus my mind and to calm myself. And because I suffer from depression, I suffer from lately, I have been having some anxiety in my life. Um, my heart races, my my blood pressure goes up because I get an instant headache, um, stuff like that. So I, I got into this just to sit and doodle and, and color. You know, um, this, these kind of things are fun for me. They, you know, just looking at it and saying, oh, I need a, because I did these all in purple, um, Purple, reds, and pinks, mostly. There's a couple blues thrown in there because um, the cap of the pen misle misled me. <laughs> but that's okay, because there's that, that pop of something else in there. And there's kind of an orangey color here. You know, stuff like that. But I wanted them all to be kind of the same. You know what I mean? And these here, I'm going, I've got, um, whoops couple different colors of green, couple different colors of blue here. Um, I think I will go with the green and the blue theme all the way through this. And then I don't think I'm going to do the background. I think that would just be moot um, point. But anyway, I mean, I got into this because of it helps me. It makes me feel better when I color. Even though I don't, it takes a lot for me to pick up that pencil. Um, I don't know why. It has to, I have to really think, you know, I really need to do this in order to pick it up. And I try to do a little bit every day. Some days I don't, some days I do. Some Sometimes maybe I'll use two different, two colors, that's it. And then I'll go on to something else. So anyway, um, I wanted, I've got three new books to show you today. And these here um, two of them I got off of Amazon, and like I said in my previous video, I have not bought a coloring book this year at all. <coughs> uh, these are all from December and before. This here was, um, I know, a right around Christmas time that I got these. I remember specifically this one I got from our a local bookstore, um, and it's the tropical world. It's beautiful. Just with that gold and beautiful colors. I'll read to you what it says here. It is a coloring, Tropical World, a coloring book adventure by Millie Morata. Murata. And it says, the new book from Millie Murata, author of Animal Kingdom. Lose yourself as you color and draw to bring the exotic creatures and plants to Millie Murata's tropical world to life. Millie's intricate style of illustration encourages you to make your own mark, whether it's to add texture to a collection of cacti or a splash of color to the feathers of a tropical parrot. Explore the rainforest further than you will find extraordinary flowers, birds, butterflies, and reptiles waiting to be filled in with vibrant tropical color. 
This book will bring enjoyment to anyone who is looking for a creative outlet or a mindful and relaxing activity. And that bottom part, the mindful and relaxing, that's me. <laughs> anyway, this one, this book here, I got um, from my job back then for Christmas. I got fifty dollars of Mitchell bucks. They're called. You could spend them anywhere here in town. So I went to my local bookstore and I I spent like. Uh, $30, I think, on coloring books. <laughs> this one here was um, $15 alone. So it's more expensive than I would ever spend on another coloring book. I mean, that's just, and it's only because it was kind of free money. And back then I had a job. I didn't know that I was going to lose my job. Um, you know, so I spent the money. Anyway, let's, let's look at a few of these pictures. These pictures are outstanding. And if, if you've known me for very long at all, you know that I love turtles. And these are on both sides of the paper, but it is very good paper. All those lily ponds or lily pads and stuff there. That is so cool. This is dragonflies and Oh, it's hot in this room. This is so pretty. There isn't this and they also leave you space for the more creative people to keep it going, to keep coloring. Or keep drawing or whatever that's not me I am not creative at all <laughs> in that I can barely draw a stick person I always wanted to draw my son is a is very good my daughter-in-law went to art school actually so so she could teach art she doesn't but she could okay a few more here just they're very int intricate and I'm just kind of <laughs> buddy <laughs> just kind of um, getting myself into that mode of stuff look at the birds so that is tropical world very beautiful book Okay, so the next book I want to talk to you about is Adult Coloring Books. A coloring books for, book for adults featuring mandalas and henna-inspired flowers, animals, and paisley patterns. I mean, look at that picture on the front. Isn't that beautiful? It says, find more adult coloring books by Zing on Amazon.com. And that's where I got this. This is kind of a almost a rubberized feel. It just is very luxurious feeling. I don't know. All right. So there's a Mandela. And these are one-sided. There's like a henna hand thing. Such pretty. Look at this one. I love this actually. It's it's very I don't know. Um very busy, but you'd have to be and like this one, you'd have to be careful about the colors you use so it wouldn't look just jumbled. I don't know if I'm crazy about stuff like that. That's pretty. All right. And that one. Aren't they gorgeous? I just think they're so pretty. Okay, that's adult coloring books. Um, it doesn't even say who it's by. Let's see here. Just copyright 2015 by Zing Books. See, and it's even got on the inside cover, it's got that same picture. So you could almost like copy it. 
try using the same colors to see if it looks the same. I will probably do that. All right, the next book and my last book for today is Creative Expression Volume 1. This future masterpiece, your future masterpiece awaits. Designing colors, mindful coloring, fun for everyone. 39 beautiful patterns. This one was um, $7.99 Penny, by Penny Press. Let me read the back of it for you. Take a healthy time out from your busy day to unlock your creativity and focus your mind. 39 beautiful images await you. Let your inner artist make them uniquely your own. The pages are perforated so you can easily remove your artwork to display it or to save it in a special scrapbook or portfolio, which is what I will do. And this kind of shows a couple of the pictures on the back there. Alrighty. And these, um, these are like this. And then they've got a saying on the other one. This says, what, what one loves in childhood stays in the heart forever. Each one says, uh, will you walk into my parlor, said a spider, spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest little parlor that ever you did spy. <laughs> the illusions of childhood are necessary experiences. A child should not be denied a balloon just because an adult knows that sooner or later it will burst. So true. I like that picture, actually. Absence of love affects the same as wind opposed to fire. Extinguish a feeble flame and blows a great one higher. Oh, I like that one too. This one's just easy. Uh, they who dream by day are co cognizant of many things which escaped those who dream only by night. Not very good at poem reading either. So it doesn't sound the same as somebody who would read it as a poem. It's in the reach of my arms, the span of my hips, the stride of my step, the curl of my lips. I'm a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman. That's me. That should have been said yesterday, National or, uh, National Woman's Day or whatever it was. That is by Mary Angelo. If anybody knows who she is, she was on Oprah quite a bit. She's an author. I must say I find television very educational. The minute somebody turns it on, I go into my library and read a good book. <laughs> Groucho Marx. God, the pictures in this are outstanding. The optimist proclaims, proclaims that we live in the best of all possible worlds, and the pessimist fears this is true. Look at these pictures. I love these. We are all faced with a series of great opportunities, brilliantly disguised in insoluble problems. It is easy enough to be pleasant when life flows by with a song, but the man worthwhile is one who will smile when everything goes dead wrong. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again, then quit. There's no use of being a damn fool about it. W.C. Fields. <laughs> there is no frigate like a book to take us lands away, nor any cursors like a page of prancing poetry. Emily Dixon. Dickinson. To see a world in a grain of sand and and a heaven in a wildflower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. William Blake. All right, one more. I love that Paisley's type stuff. Um, when we were children, we used to think that when we were grown up, we would no longer be vulnerable. But to grow up is to accept vulnerability. Madeline and Ingle. And that is designing colors. I will list these books below, tell you how much they are on Amazon or wherever, and I will see you in my next video. If you like this kind of stuff, give me a thumbs up. Um, my last one, which was just posted yesterday, got three thumbs down already. Why are you doing that? It's coloring. 
What's the big deal? Why are you giving me thumbs down? But anyway, it counts as a view, right? <laughs> Bye.